0.0%. That's what I like to see. Hysteria Hall. What we've got over there? Used he cars. The ah. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. Got an arcade. You're wrong, sweetie. It was Herbert Hoover. I'm sorry, but I was there. You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps a marriage alive <laughs> and kicking right. Uh, what can we do you for? The works. Come and ride up. You oh. know anything about politics, Ray? It's a Famous quotes, things like that. I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. Hmm. Does she talk as well? You seen a girl around here, about 14, with pink hair? Maybe in the arcade. I was 14 with pink hair once. <laughs> a long time ago. Don't think he means you. Of course not. Not now. We work outside Hysteria Hall, don't we? Well, we must see 20, 30 girls a day with pink hair. Huh. And every other color in the rainbow. Hmm, useful. You know where I could score some cheese? Like this stuff? Boy, don't flesh that around here. He's the police, sweetie. Illicit cheese. Besides, the kids today just as soon twist a knife in your backside as to ask Virginian for the tram home. Show that cheese around here. You become a marked man. Who sells it? No, we aren't asking for any trouble, Ray. I'm not working, Bunko. I just want some information. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. That stew she makes. It always did taste a little gamey. Cheesy. And she charges an arm and leg for it, too. So she makes an illicit cheese stew that was delivered to a man who was blown up. Mm. The plot thickens. I like the stew. I found this wrapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. Be good, you two. I think we've got the information. I need to go and check out the used car guy. Uh, then we'll have a look in the arcade. There's nowhere else to run from here. Be good, you two. Okay, they're done. They're definitely done. We're running legs. Not a good advert for a used car salesman. You have to get out and run. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you got to find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also saved some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. Feast your eyes on you see this. It? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. Eh, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. Why does this guy remind me of Stan from Stan's used boat emporium in the Curse of Monkey Island? Uh, oh, we can go up the stairs. Okay. Um, I can look at this. And I should probably just talk to uh, Crazy Legs Larry, I think. <laughs> what a salesman that guy is. He's good, you isn't he? You sold a black sedan a few days ago? Black sedan? Hey, I got standards. 
If it ain't sporty, I got no room for it. I've seen the registration. I know a woman bought it from you. Oh, oh, that sedan. Hey, look, a sexy blonde wants to pay top dollar for the ugliest car in the place. Who am I to say no? A sexy blonde? Did you know who she was? No, but I'd like to know her in the biblical sense <laughs> if you catch what I'm saying. Look, Ray, it ain't a crime for me to make a living. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I hope you got paperwork oh, for all done. these we're vehicles. Done. I take that as a yes. Yep. You can take it any way you want. Okay, what's this green light? I keep your paws off that, Ray. I want to see how this guy goes upstairs, actually. I'm assuming he has some sort of turbo lift or something. So all he's told me is that he, he did actually sell the car to this blonde lady and that was it. So I've got no further info on that. Locked. Locked. Okay, so we can't nick the car off the roof then. That sucks. Is, any, is this that sucks. of any importance at all? Locked. Okay, there's, I'm assuming there's some reason why that scene is put in. It might just be for immersion. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Just fine, crazy. You've been thinking about the caddy, haven't you? I don't blame you. She keeps me up at night, too. And I ain't ever even lip-wrestled in the back seat. Which is definitely what's in the cards for a stud of your caliber. <laughs> Throw in a babe and maybe you got a deal. No sweat, I'll have one over in a jiffy. No, just kidding. <laughs> you were right, he is he is a salesman. That guy is a legend. You go outside and these shops called Cars and Babes. You buy one, you get one free. Let's go check out the arcade. Oh, this place is busy. And let me check. I can't go out the other side, but I can go in here. Not expecting a shootout, but I haven't saved this game in a while. Um, what we're we looking at. Um, oops. Oh, there's one thing. Seems to be one thing I... Oh, there's a hall of mirrors. What's the betting that we chase some bad guy through a hall of mirrors later? James Bond style. You're sick, Lucy. No, I'm not. All right, we found Lucy? Yes, you are. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not going to hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. I always dreamed Terra would be so special. And beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Like on the video. So different from everything on uh, where I was. Why'd they kill Runsitter's animals? I didn't want them to. But Father, he was so angry. And Sadiq said Mr. Runsitter deserved it for treating me that way. What way? It's so funny. I'm worth less than those animals. I guess I should hate them, but I don't. Worth less? So all the animals were real? Mr. Runsitter also used to buy some of the others. Artificial. He used to tell me that he was protected, that they came from somebody close to the source. Who else was there that night? Father and Uncle Zubin. Uncle Zubin. Uncle Zubin. Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is, anyway. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. She's off. She's heading for the Hall of Mirrors. I... We've lost her. Okay. I can go... Oh. That look... Is that the same way? Let's just see if she's run this way. Um, I thought she was running out that way. Let's, let's run in the Hall of Mirrors. Oh, she did go in here. Right. Oh my god. Wait, hang on. I'm going to have to shoot people? She 
ran around here. Well, I'm hoping I ain't going to need the gun out for this. Okay. Oh, maybe it's a time thing. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. So where did she go? She went and stood it standing here, did she? Or should I run through that bit? Can't actually see where that goes over there. This doesn't look like a Hall of Mirrors. It doesn't look like any Hall of Mirrors I've ever been in. Is it anything to do with... Um, standing in the green stuff? I don't know whether it's just on a timer. Maybe I have to run past a certain zone and it opens up another one. What if I like, double click there? It shows me where to run to. Oh my god, I can actually run round there. I thought that came to a halt. I'm going to catch her. I'm not going to shoot her. Where the hell did she go? Did she come out of there? Or did she stayed in? Did I run past and... She hasn't gone back in. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't actually get out now. Sorry, it's, it's a hall of mirrors with a one-way entrance. Well, I guess we've lost her for now. She's gone running right to the back. I just mash this mouse button and it goes faster. It's kind of the long way round, isn't it? Oh, well, he's doing it. Yeah, there, exactly, Visa. There's absolutely zero mirrors in here. I feel cheated. I want my money back. The layout reminds you of Shadowrun? Shadowrun. Never played it. Um, I don't see anyone with pink hair in here. I think I've, I've lost her. She didn't go back into the arcade. Let's just check. Um, I don't see any pink-haired young ladies in here. That's fine. I think... Oh. There's something else to explore over here. I, I suggest... I suspect it's just part of the story to... Oh, we're out. To expand upon things. Um, and we're good to go. On to the next stage. Did I? Oh, I did click it. That was DNA. Yep, DNA row. We know the stuff to do in nightclub row. There's um, at least a couple of people to see. I would have loved playing this in 1997. I don't know whether it would look just like this or whether they've managed to enhance the visuals at all. But I think... In 97, I think this would have looked great. What have we got? <laughs> There's some strange noises coming over there. Is that just the music? Jeez, doesn't look like there's that much to Oh, this, we've got one to the left, one to the right. So, name is Early. Early Q? Tongue. Let's go into Tongue. Let's go and get some Tongue. There's that guy again. Him. He did say he was playing one of these nightclubs though, didn't he? Can't go up on the stage. I wonder if we can get a photograph of that and enhance it on that computer. <laughs> I'm a guessing not. 
So the only place we've got to talk to here, or the only person, can't even go through there, is uh, Frank Sinatra here. Hey, man. You're that cat from Howie Lee's. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You know the chef at Howie's? That big, flabby guy? Yes. Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious cat, McCoy. Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence. There is no such thing as coincidence in a murder investigation. I guess we're going to watch his show. Ha! <laughs> no, we're not. No one seems at all phased that I've just pulled a gun out in the middle of a nightclub. Hey, is everybody having a good time tonight? Don't all shout at once. What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. <laughs> the doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is, you only got 24 hours to live. Oh, no. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. I told my wife that to joke. A does his job really well. Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. How about yourself? You sure about yourself? Because I got some friends, they say they know you. You're lying. I'm not so sure about myself anymore. Oh, follow him. He's run off. Can't go over there. Can't do anything else here. He's run off. He's run off. You know this? In 1997, this would have been like the equivalent of internet porn in a game this this picture right here people if they saw that screenshot in a magazine they would run out and buy the game just for that in 97 i think that was bit was did i have internet in 97 i can't remember in the uh, backwards north yorkshire i can't remember if we did that <laughs> holy shit! Okay, I didn't see that coming. Um, no way. Right, I knew I'd saved it just before going in there. That was serious panic. Did, did he give me a clue that he was going to start a gun battle in the street when he ran off there? Because I, if he did, then I missed it, and maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. Hey, man. You're that. You want... I'll oh, make a... You know that you were... You kick... We're going to skip through these. And then we're going to save the game before we leave, and I'm going to go without with a gun in hand. And then you obviously have to gun him down. For reasons I don't fully understand... Come on then. What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? Can't First, speed this there's up. There's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. Okay, we have to listen to the jokes again. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. <laughs> the doctor calls up his patient. I don't get that I one. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, What could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. I guess that joke is related to the tornado. To 
does his job really well. Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. That's right, one of the elves. Let's give a big... He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies. He even thinks you're a rep. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. How? Because I got some friends. You're lying. Then he runs off, and then we save the damn game. I wish he put the most up-to-date game at the uh, save at the top, so... We'll just keep this going. Right, I've got the gun, yes? I've got to be quick with this. I've got it, I've got the, I've got the shooter out. Oh, he's run off this time! Is it because I've got the gun out? Well, that's different. Weird. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. Okay, I think I can put the gun away. Nope. I just got thrown out. What the hell? I'm coming back in without the gun this time. We can actually talk to the sexy lady on the stage. Not the talkative type. His bounce is coming. Not the talkative type. Hey, Hanoi, where's Early? Off World Fat Farm. <laughs> what? You can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Getting the hell of a tan he is. Anything else? Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Early's waiting on me. Okay. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Mm, seems to be nobody else to talk to. We can run off through there. Um, I'm going to run here and I'm going to save the game again because I suspect that... Oh no, hang on, there's two places. Let's try this one. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm just going to save. Just in case. Just in case. There's a guy with a gun out there. Sod off. Nope. You've got no okay. appointment and you've got no warrant. That's to go and see the early guy, right? Okay. So let's go out this way. Come on, faster, faster. This is reserved for VIPs. But that's my name, Vip. You're a real cute boy, I. So I can't go there either? Sod off, McCoy. I've got no time for you. I feel like I can't do anything in here then. So our, our suspect... He ran off here. Why did he shoot me the first time? Yeah, I feel like we can't do anything else in here right now. We need to deal with that guy first. That was a bizarre encounter. I don't feel like I have left this zone any wide. Oh, I didn't notice these up here before. <laughs> Probably a good reason why this game isn't in any higher resolution. It would be banned on Twitch. Okay, uh, Ekolaski, have a great uh, few days. Have a great Christmas, because uh, this is my last stream uh, before then. And I'll hopefully see you uh, before New Year. I should be able to stream between Christmas and New Year. That's the plan. Thanks for stopping by tonight anyway. Catch you next time. Is there anything else to do here? I feel like I'm done. Nothing to see. Let's run back in here. I think it's back to the police station. Yeah, it's about time I... There's nothing else to see. Huh, I'm surprised at that. I thought there'd be more to see at the nightclub zone. And maybe there is. Because perhaps we can't do it just yet. Hmm. Come on, faster, faster. Can we not leave this bit? We'll leave the sex club alone for now. Right, back to the police station. We're going to go and log the clues. See if anything else has turned up. And then I think we're going to go home. I might see the lieutenant.
I bet there's a call at home or something. I've got to say, this game, it does look like it's from 97. It plays a little bit sort of more advanced than that, and I am so far quite impressed with it. Laboratory. I bet there's nothing here. No, I, th I feels like we're done with the laboratory for now. <coughs> Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Back and forth with this. Clue database transfer complete. Let's take a quick look on here. Is there anything new? No. Okay. We've done our bit on there. I should probably have a look at the clues. I don't know whether I have to play any of these. Lucy interview. Why'd they kill Runciter's animals? I didn't want them to. But father, he was so angry, and Sadiq said Mr. Runciter deserved it for treating me that way. Who else would that nutty bud the cheese. runs Kingston Kitchen? She's always bragging yep. about her special ingredient. We've got a link. We've got to go to the cheese vendor. Roof. Um, I will go to the roof. This is our, I think it's our last really obvious clue. And of course there could be some more calls at home waiting for us, but we'll save that for another time, I think. So it is Anamoid Row. This unusual scale. This thing is bugging me a bit. Other than it just be a collectible thing. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. Does this guy know about... Let's show him a picture Only of this one. vendor. Just one? No? Okay. One, but one good. We, no, we had a picture of the guy buying something from here. Hmm. Let's go to the cheese place. Okay. Tell me all Mia your secrets. Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Dim old buzzards. What they know? I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you no harm. Where'd you get it? My sister. She got connections. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. Jamaican she cheese. She sent me cheese once, maybe oh, twice a month. Right you know... Funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Uh. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shut me down. This guy who robbed you, what'd he look like? Short, real short. Bad clothes, colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Uh, I Maybe know. you look for this ugly little TV, yeah? I'm thinking you not really care about the cheese. You're right, but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. <laughs> Bet, Mom, that cheese been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. <laughs> okay, so we know the guy. So the guy with the bow tie. He is linked to the murder. He stole the takeout cartons, which we used as cover for that guy to get into the laboratory and blow the guy up. So we've got a link. It's the bow tie guy, and that's why he was worried about me being the police and wanted to shoot me. This makes sense. He knows we're onto him. If I'd had this clue first, that might have been a different outcome. Thanks for your time. Okay, that does make sense. We have more clues to upload. Stolen cheese. Funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shot me down. This guy who robbed you, what do you look like? Short, real short. Bad clothes, colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Is this another guy here? 
suspect... Is this the same dude? It's not the same as Clovis. Oh, I thought this was the same as Clovis. This guy we saw here at the China Bar. Ah, apparently not. Um, but we can't ask anyone around here about it, no? That is a shame. If I click on that, does it take me... Same place. Shame. There's no security cameras. Okay. And we can't see the people on this side. Can't talk to them. <clears throat> because, as I recall, he was doing some deal on the other side of the road for a weird scale, and it was right there. And again, down here. We know there's something going on down there. I want to have a look. I'm curious. I feel like if I, uh, if I can get across that um, sewer, and then it, when the bridge might come down, it might be tied to me completing some sort of story event. Where does that go? Did we check that out? Yes, that's a shortcut back up to the street, isn't it? Yeah, it's this thing. Mm. Okay, well, let me shoot it. Nothing's red. Okay, that that that's this must something must happen later. We must chase some guy down here or something. That's impossible, I know. Let's let's leave then. Damn, so I need to track down the guy in the bow tie. Again. Hawkers. Is this the Hawkers Bazaar? I did not know that. Locked. Ah, okay. Wrong time of night. I guess I get back to my car then. Back to the illicit cheese vendor. Uh, let's get back out of here. I'm going to have to put a bit of thought into this. It's a really cool game. I am enjoying it. Let's get home and see if there's any messages back at the flat. Uh, where do we go there? So the mystery deepens and the plot thickens. We still don't know exactly what's going on and why. Am I going to get mugged running back to my flat again? Nope, I think I'm safe this time. I might need to go and call in number, please. with the lieutenant. McCoy, 88F. 88. Shame I can't skip some of these mini animations, just get around a bit faster. Yay, the dog's back. Oh, this is my... Okay. Nothing new there. Good doggy. Let's go and check the messages. Got a green button. That mean... No messages. No. I'm in demand. And we'll sleep. Portrait of the sleep deprived. If we, if we waste a day, the guy might come back to that nightclub. Like chase him down and shoot him. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that is a good point to save that game, I think. We'll put it on the top slot. In fact, we'll put it on the second slot as well. And then it doesn't matter which one I load up. Cool. We're done. We're done for the night, folks. In fact, we're done until after Christmas. So, uh, I have more things to stream coming up after Christmas. I will probably continue this maybe as a an off my regular slot sort of game because it's good and i kind of want to see where to get to it where, where, well where the story goes anyway um and i am enjoying it and now i want to see the film as well but i'm also going to be streaming red dead 2 that's coming up after christmas uh and i will play that all the way through and finish it maybe not do 100 percent run and try to do everything in the game but i'll certainly play the story 
and uh, all the interesting side stuff as well. That's going to be fun. Uh, and what else have I got coming up next year? Cyberpunk is going to be a 2020 uh, stream for me when that gets released. That's, that's a bit in the future, though. And so, uh, yes, well, have a great Christmas or happy holidays or whatever you celebrate. Hope you have a good one. And I will catch you sometime between the 25th and New Year. All right, folks, thanks very much. Have a good night. What's left of it? And I'll catch you on the next one. Good night. <laughs>